YouTube, Aqua here, and welcome to today's video with me unboxing Magic the Gathering, a Theros Beyond Death fat pack. So we let's go ahead and get right into this goodness that is this fat pack. Once again, I am using a knife. So kids, make sure you have a grown adult with you when you're using a sharp knife or any object so they can keep an eye on you so you don't get hurt. Adults, be safe. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get into it. So I don't think this set's got that booklet either. No, it looks like they don't. Darn it. That's the security tag. Don't need the security tag. Man, I really I really like those books. Alrighty. Ooh. Oh, looks like we got some foils right there. And I'm pretty sure these are the lands that we don't need. Nah, we don't need that. Those are the garbage cards. And we have a cool looking count life down counter. 20 sided die. I like that. I, I like that die a lot. Reminds me a little bit of soap. <laughs> Alright, put that back. These are the packs that we are interested in. We will set this box off to the side. And let's actually, let's see, divide this in five. There's five there, five there. We will open up the pre packaged cards to see what we get. So unlike the Planeswalker sets, I am not going to be going through commons. I will just, and the uh, commons and the uncommons, I am just going to be going through the rares, the mythic rares, and the foils. So that way we can see what we get. So this first one is Arasta of the Endless Web. That's awesome. We got some foil. Oh, these are the foil lands that we get. Okay. Man, I think they are cheapening up on the foil process, I think. Oof. So I'll, I'll put the foil, line, foil lands in there. All right. And we'll get right down to opening. It's kind of nice that they actually do that, though, that I think, now that I think about it. So that way you're not... Eh, I don't know. Hmm. I'm I'm kind of split. I'm kind of split on that. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this opened up. And our first pack, token wise, not a token, just a throwaway card. Alrighty. So one, two. I'll set that off the side. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, crappy pack. We'll put all the uncommons down here. I'll separate the unknown chores because unknown chores is actually kind of a decent un, uh, uh, common card. It helps us speed up mana. So four or uncommon sage of mysteries, Catholicist design, and Devon Angel, which leaves us with Nalia's intervention for our. Not foil, but uh, rare. Duh. And then we have a full art land, which I will gladly put over there for right now. And after I knocked all these cards out of order, I'm going to read. There we go. Alright, so the piles that we got going right now are commons uncommons and then mythic rares and rares will be up here and then anything special i decide to put it down i'll put down here all right next pack uh token ah we got a token so i'll put tokens next to the land let's yep actually i'm gonna put stuff sideways for right now like i'm tapping it all right, one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, crappy pack. All right, so for uncommons, we have Tamarant, Chosen from Death, Nissian, Wander, Favored from Iros, and I do apologize for my dog going nuts because he likes to bark at birds, so I apologize on that. So, and then our rare is Atris, Oracle of half Truths, and then we have another... Full Art Island. All right, next pack. So we'll go over, we'll go over all the prices for these cards at the end, like we usually do, so I can see where they're at. If it's not something that I already know or have gone over before. So last card is a Seder token. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, nine comments. Here we go. First good pack. We have Embracing or Entrancing Liar, Underworld Dreams, Hydra's Growth, and then Enigmatic. Enig yeah, I can't speak today. Enigmatic Incarceration is our rare. Ooh, we actually have a full a foil full art, which I think that's like three something but three or four something bucks. We'll have to see on that one. And then these are the uncommons. I'll keep that down here. I'll keep my foils down here. Eh, yeah, we'll keep the foils down here. <laughs> All right. Next pack. Token or not? I don't think so. I think it's a trash card. It's a trash card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nice. We're either going to have another foil or an extra card of something in here. So, Uncommons, Glimpse of, glimpse of uh, Freedom, Impending Doom, and Ferris Brand... Ferris Band Brawler are the uncommons. Ooh. First time Eronian Games is the in rare, which is an enchantment saga. We'll put that there. And then our foil is actually a rare uh, idol in, of obstruction. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. And then our plane. Alrighty, next pack. Trash card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, crappy trash pack. But we have a saga as one of our uncommons. Uh, Medomial's Prophecy. We have Slaughterer, Priest of Mogus as another uncommon then Calliope beloved of the sea is our other uncommon and then nightmare shepherd is our rare so put that there put the full art island right there uncommon to go there all right next pack all righty let's see here Trash or token? I think it's token. I think it's token. It is a token. It's a goat token. All right, then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uncommon. Or nine commons. Ugh, I keep saying uncommons. I mean comments. Don't know why I keep doing that. So our uncommon, Soul Glide Glantern, Acolyte of Affliction, Katha's Design, or Cothesis design. And then our rear is our Underworld Breach. 
Okay, and then a foil omen of the seas. Which is a common foil. So, 25 cents at most for that, I would say. And then our foil art land goes up top. So far, I don't know if this Edelin's going to be worth anything or not. I'm not too sure. Seems like it could be. It's got first strike, loyalty count counters, or loyalty abilities of Planeswalkers. Your opponent's control costs one more to activate. Alright, garbage token. It's a good token. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I think if it's got a token in the pack, I think it's a good pack. I think just from that, from my observation, I could be completely wrong. I don't know. Uh, so we have Mirror Shield, Fair. Uh, Ferris Band Brawler, Hero of the Winds, and our rare is Shatter in the Sky. Alright, our foil is a common foil. Oread of Mountains Blaze, so we'll go ahead and put that down here for now. And then our foil, Archland. Alright, our last pack of this pile, which leaves us with two packs left, I believe. Yep, two packs left. I don't know if this was a good fat pack or not. We'll have to wait until we see the price here in a second. All right, so I think this is a token. It is a token. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, a not so good pack. And then Escape Philosophy is are one inevitable end is two and or uh warden of the chain is our last uncommon which means our rare is galia the endless dance and then we have a plains full art land all right folks we're getting down to the end of the box here let's see what we pull in these last two packs here Alrighty, let's see. Token, I think it's a token. Yep, it's a Pegasus token. So I think that last pack had a token, but it still had 10 uh, commons, so take that what you will, I guess. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 commons. Boo. Yep, okay, this, yep, this pack had 10 commons too. Alright, so Uncommons, Underworld Fires, Fraka Spawn, Commanding Presence, and our rare is Tectonic Giant. And we have a full art swamp now. Let's get these little organized a little better now. There we go. We can set those like that. And we are now down to our last pack. Let's see what this is. Is it a token? It's a nightmare token. That's a cool looking token. I like that token. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine commons. All right. So we're going out on a good pack here, folks. We're going out on a good pack. We have Sweet Oblivion as an uncommon. Renata Alternate Art called it a hunt. All right, I got to put that to the side. Sonya, Captain of the Phalus. Then our rare is uh, Thassa's Intervention. If I remember correct, Thassa's Intervention was in a old in the old Theros set too, I think. I could be wrong, but... There we go. So we got an alternate art in this fat pack. Okay. I'm kind of liking that. So, we're about halfway through the video right now. Let's go ahead and check on some of these prices for these cards. We'll start with the rares. So, 
I'm actually gonna put these two up with the others because they are rare. So we'll do that and we'll just see what those foils are. So 11 rares out of the box is not too, or 12 rares out of the box ain't too bad. Alrighty, so head over to Star City Games to do some pricing, which I know is kind of, they're usually priced a little bit higher than TCG Player, but it's been a million years since I used TCG Player. I just use Star City as the standard. Eh, what's that? Let, I'll show you all the tokens too. Let's see. Oh. I haven't seen those two tokens yet. I've seen Seder. I've seen Goat tokens. And I've seen Human Soldier tokens. So. I, and like I said, I usually hold on to the tokens because sometimes I like to play with them. And then our, full, our pile of full art lands. Alrighty, so. Uh, let's start with where we started off in the pack. We'll work this way forward. And the first Aronian game. So T is going to be at the end. Let's see, do I have any other T's? Yeah, I do. I have Tectonic and Thassas. So while I'm in the T section, I will look at T's. Alright, there we go. Down to the T's. Tectonic Giant. Let's see, just a regular Titanic Giant is 75 cents. Okay. All right, there's that. There's, all right, all well, Temples Lord next. <laughs> da, 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 da. All right, Thassa's Intervention uh, is next. It's a dollar. Okay, so we're at a dollar 75 so far for this box. Uh, $1.75. The first Aronian Games, here we go. Is 50 cents, so that's what, $2.25? We're at $2.25 for that. And I believe that's all the T's. One, two, three, yep. Yeah. Alright, and then since we're towards the end here, let's just do Underworld Breach. Alright, so Underworld Breach is actually a $5 card. Let's see, what's it say? Each non-land card in your graveyard has escape. Ooh, the escape cost is equal to the card's mana cost plus three, plus exile three other cards from that graveyard. You may cast cards from your graveyard for their escape cost. Oh, okay. At the beginning of each end step, sacrifice underworld breach. Okay, so that's a quick way to play with cards from your graveyard. So, okay, now I kind of get the escape mechanic. The escape mechanic is the one. There's the new mechanic that I knew knew nothing about. Okay, so if you pay that price, you can use that card out of the graveyard. Gotcha. That, I could see why that's a five dollar card then. All right, so what I said. I, 225 so I'm at 725 right now okay let's do shatter the sky shatter the sky do 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 do, do. oh here we go oh, no. uh Let's see, Shatter of the Sky is a dollar fifty. So I am at eight seventy-five. Yeah, eight seventy-five. All right, eight seventy-five. All right, let's go up here to let's see if we can get N because we have a couple N's. There we go. And we have Nyla's and in Enigmatic Incarceration. And Nightmare. Oh, no. Nightmare. Nightmare Shepherd's in. Not in. Uh. So Nightmare Shepherd is $4. Okay. That's not too bad. So 4 
to 8. That was 8, 75. 9, 10, 11, 12. 12, 75 at the moment. That's not too bad. 12, 75. And then Nylia's intervention is dollar. So there's uh, 13, 75. 13. All right. And then G is next. We're going in reverse, so I got to think here for a second. All right. All right. Do, 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 do. There we go. Uh, let's see. Golly of the Endless Dance is 50 cents. So that would push me to, what did I say, 13? So I'm at 14.25 at the moment. All righty. 14.25 for Galia. So now I'm on E, which I have Ign Ign Ignatic and Endolin of Obstruction. So the abstraction is two fifty, so I was at what? Fourteen twenty five. So seventy five and two. So I'm at sixteen seventy five. Alrighty. It's kind of a bummer. Kinda of wish it was the full art foil or the extended art foil. But that only comes in the Collector's edition, I believe. So then, that's a ten dollar card. But I'll, I'll gladly take the two fifty on that. All right, and we'll go over to Ignatic. What I say? I said sixteen seventy five is what I'm at. I think. All right, and then Ignatic is fifty. So I'm at seventeen twenty five. Seventeen twenty five for that. And then I just have the A's left. So, we have uh, Artris and Arasta. So, Atris, the Oracle of Half Truce, is 50 cents. So, crap, I lost my count. 1625, I think, is what I said. 1625. So, I'm at 1675. If I'm wrong, I'll correct it in the video. I apologize. So sixteen seventy-five for that. Uh, so and that's Archers right there is that. And Arasta. It's gonna be on the next page, I believe. Yep. Arasta. Do, 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 do. It's two dollars. So I said what sixteen seventy five. So I'm at eighteen seventy five. All right, eighteen seventy five for that. All right, we'll get off the rares now because that takes care of that. If that takes care of all of these, we will go to the basic land. To see what the foil full art uh, planes is. Which is. Full art planes. Foil is $3. So that puts me at $21.75 I believe. $21.75. That's not too bad. Then we'll do the alternate art of Renata next. And I can guarantee there's a, these together are $0.50. Cents. So let's see if these together are 50, uh, 22, 25 then. And then we'll go to Renata next, which is uncommon. All right, and greens. So. Do, 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 do. Alrighty, Renata here. 
There we go. The alternate art for Renata is... 75 cents. Once again... That's what happened with the... The... Last... Uh, the Ashiac Planeswalker deck. The count... The non-foil... Is a... Is 25 cents more than the... Foil version, which... I, like I said in the last video, I don't get why that is. So that would actually put me up to $23 for the box. Yeah, so $23 for a box, which is basically half the price of the box for the fat pack, if not two-thirds of the box, is not too bad of a deal. I would say overall this was a very good box. Because mo most of the time you will not get half the price back in the box. Usually you'll get a third of the price back. So getting two-thirds of the price back for the box is fairly good. If you get extremely lucky, you'll actually get the full price of the box back, if not a little bit more, depending on where how the set is going and all that other stuff as well. So guys, gals, ladies and gentlemen, tell me what you thought of this fat box on opening. I actually thought it was not too bad. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Tell me if I'm right, wrong, whatever. If you like this Magic the Gathering uh, content that I am creating. Anything like that. I take constructive criticism. I'm I'm good for it. Uh, and if you liked the video, go ahead and please hit that thumbs up button. If you liked what you've seen on the channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'd very much appreciate it. So guys, gals, ladies and gentlemen, and others, this is Aqua, signing off.